We move now to this story, a Chinese scientist who claimed this week that he created the world's first genetically edited babies was grilled today by his colleagues. Dr. Tara Narula is following this story. For this specific case, I feel it's a, I feel proud actually. I feel proudest. He Jiankui was defiant as he faced off with the scientific community for the first time. I just don't see the unmet medical need for He was these. chastised by many, including Nobel Prize winner David Baltimore. Uh, I don't think it has been an, a transparent process. We've only found out about it um, after it's happened. He said the twin girls were born after he used a technology called CRISPR, which can edit the three billion pairs of the DNA code. CRISPR acts as a scissor that can target a particular gene and then alter or replace it to prevent disease, in this case to prevent future HIV infection. He's work is being widely criticized for using this technique on healthy human embryos for the first time when its safety has not been established. The two girls will carry these genes and any complications from them for the rest of their lives and could pass them down to their children and grandchildren as well. Both of the embryos that eventually gave rise to the twins had severe problems. Dr. Kiran Musanuru is a genetic expert at the University of Pennsylvania who has seen Ho's data. These are not embryos that in good conscience anyone could use for the purpose of having live-born children. Jeff, what Hu has done really flies in the face of how ethical science is conducted. Ethical science is done in an open, collaborative way. And while there may be value for editing of genetic embryos in the future, the science isn't there yet. And because the stakes are so high, it needs to be done with scientists involved, the public, patient advocates, ethicists, a much bigger community. The idea seems noble trying to protect people, but so many questions in this particular case. That's exactly right. Tara, thank you.